Good evening, everybody. It is Marcus here on L6D's community server. We've had a rough... I say a rough morning. I woke up to the most disastrous thing I've ever seen so far. And normally, I tend to take care of my server really well. But I want to say I am extremely sorry of what happened lately. And it's... It's probably because... My partner in crime, I guess is the best way to put it, Off, who hosts Tyria Legends and TL Works, the whole babang, um, and provides L6D's hosting, because originally I've hosted my own server for quite some time, and there's been a lot of members who came back recently uh, that came back when they first originally saw the server on my own server machine. And then I moved to Tyria because I became a developer for them and did plugins and all that. And I've gotten really more, f you know, familiarized with my plugins than I've ever did before. It took a while, but I got there. And so recently we've just ended up in... Well, let's put it this way. We share kind of like an NDA, NDA not disclosure agreement, but it's more like we respect each other's content, which is not a big deal. Uh, I always have donated, and I have to say what I have done. I have donated to Tier Legends for the hosting. Any donations I get, I give partial over to them. And that's just as good as I can do, including fixing plugins, working on a plugin, uh, repairing it if anything comes, wrong, comes with a problem, and even helping out with the server as well. But what happened recently is... My server was upgraded. Now, we have this agreement. I don't touch his server stuff because I'm going to tell you right now. If I had to manage Tier Legends, I couldn't do it. There's a lot of things in there that I just couldn't do. There's too much data, too much database work that needs to be done. It requires literally two people to do it. And he does it all on his own because I don't anyone else touches that database. Which pops to you. But he doesn't care. He doesn't respect anything. Tyria Legends may be the popular server only by the fact that it's sheer people. It's just people. They're just mindless people. They don't have any interest else. The only thing that seems to keep people there is all the fun mini games and all the other features. The leveling, apparently everybody loves the Maple Story leveling kind of thing. You got Panther up there too, so my server is not popular and I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for integrity. I'm looking for a community. And you can't be a community if you, if you're not trying to participate in your own server and at least keep it up to date, keep with your people. You just go off to being nowhere and let your staff do it. I try to hire staff all the time. It's really difficult. So he ended up updating my server. And I wake up this morning finding out uh, I get like 10 notifications on my Terraria forum community from Haley and all my moderators and then I get forms from the website and I find out my server is rolled back. I come back and I notice my spawn's gone. I'm like, what the heck happened? Everything was fine. Nope, it's just gone. It's completely gone. So I ended up having to think, maybe I screwed something up. Because what I did was I faked the client. Basically, I allowed people for the new client to come in and the old one. It would essentially corrupt the server, and it did once because somebody hacked. And hacking is going to be a problem all the time. So I can't blame hacking as a general reason of the server screwed up. Because that can happen on any server version. But what happened is everybody who was using the newer version couldn't get any of the newer items. Or new content in general. But you could still join the server with your old client or the new one. So that was the best choice I wanted to do, and it was the most stable way to do it including all the plugins because that's what they were designed to do. When he upgraded to the new T-Shock, and mind you, T-Shock hasn't even released yet a final release. It's still a Bamboo, and Bamboo is bad. Right now we've got bugs all over the place and I'm getting complaints, so it's not like it's going to be an easy thing to do to fix. There's not much I can do right now uh, other than enjoy a little bit of uh, messing around and trying to figure out what is bugged. So NPCs are screwed. So it took me maybe two, three hours in total just to fix it and that was also doing remotely because my spawn was screwed up after I got 
done, I had to leave. And I noticed, oh, oh Spawn's getting destroyed, so people are going to be complaining. I mean, that's the point. You have to be on top of things. You never know what happened after you fixed most of your work. There's going to be problems, and there was. My spawn was destroyed, so people couldn't get to the bottom of the world, so people were being kind of like, okay, well, this server sucks. I can't get to the surface. I can't do sh anything. Forget it. It's crap. Shite. Well, yeah, that's my fault in general, but the point is, none of this would have happened if the server just stayed the way it was, and I've never decided to update his server either. If I did that, I know there's going to be a disaster everywhere. It would just be bad. So I'm formally apologizing for all the destructiveness that just happened. Uh, massive destructiveness like this, where everything's mangled. I, mean, I couldn't do a darn thing about it. We got the spawn back. I got most of the data back. I had to reset the house. It was not intentional. I had a particle. I even had a threat. And that was one of the most important things that Because I wanted to make sure that everyone had enough time to see that. And it was really important. Because my database is huge. It's 60 megabytes and I really don't want it to be any larger than it. And I start seeing the performance that it weighs on it. So I said that the server is vanilla. It was for a short period. And then I said, I'm going to fake it. And I did. So I posted this thread. I'm not even sure if I can... Yeah, I can't switch to it. That I was going to leave the server under vanilla until T-Shock updates, so be patient. Then I decided to go it on fake client, which I did here, that I, um, it was updated to 1.3.3, and two more patches came out to fix that. But later, I had no idea that the changes were made so quickly. I suddenly saw another update, and I was, yeah, I know who did that. It was pretty obvious who did that. I didn't even have to guess. I already knew who did that. And I was like, I would never do that to you. And the attitude that I get, that's one of the most disappointing things, I should say. Very disappointing. I don't even know if I can capture it, but I'm going to try. I don't think I can. It, it won't even let me switch. So if I want to switch this, I have to show you guys. Duh. Good thing is it's not live, so it's like, okay, it's telling me Arrow is alive. Yeah, I know about Arrow. Here's our little teary chat. So I was trying to be as general about it as possible. And here's basically the arguments. Yo, Marcus, what's up? I don't even know. Is it even capturing this? Yeah, it is kind of capturing it. It's kind of messed up. So... Here we are. Um, I spent like 10 hours fixing both SSC and, and non-SSC server. He runs two servers. The survival server, which is all the leveling, and then the non-server. be honest, if it's a non-server-sided character server, there shouldn't be much difficulty. You just paste, paste, paste. And that's what I do with mine, and it's a survival server. So I can't imagine that being long. Now, the SSC server, I can imagine him spending nine hours to fix that son of a bitch. And <laughs> there's a lot to do. But... I wish there was an easier way to, you know, store levels or something like that, but that's not going to be easy. Um, don't throw notes at me and take this stuff personally up with me. Like, that's the part I don't understand. Don't throw notes at me and take this stuff personally up to me like a man. Well, here's the thing. It wasn't even as a man. It was a text document that I pasted on his desktop, which formally tells him everything. I don't have to be a man. I just formally told him that like a professional person would. And... When you're running a server, you want to be professional, as courteous as possible, because if you don't, you're going to lose all the respect to everyone. And that's one of the things that Relogic team has been getting problems with, apparently with the history of Tyria. And I know about the history of Tyria because I'm someone in it, but I'm not responsible for it. And that's a good thing, because I 
don't want to take any responsibility for that. That was not my fault. So, um, F, sorry, you're going to have to read that. I'm not going to say the F words because this is going to be a YouTube video with at least 1,500 F bombs off the way. You can probably skip through this video if you want. It's going to be almost the same thing. But I'm just going to read the general cons. He goes, F, um, am I that scary of a person? No, you're not a scary person. You are a irresponsible person. You're not a person who cares about your server. And I'm not saying the server itself. I'm saying this as a person who's supposed to run a corporation. I mean, you call it Tyria Legends LLC or T TL Works LLC. You're trying to take on that. And you've already been sued by Relogic formally. And that alone, you don't take that as a responsibility. If you get sued or you get formally a letter from a court, you better be ready to take it seriously because uh, those F-bombs are not going to help. Uh, being formal to me or just and from the hood, um, I don't talk like that, sorry. I, I don't have a hood. I don't do all that stuff, but okay. Doesn't matter in my book. If that doesn't matter, what does? Does your server matter? Do the people that donate to your server matter? Do the people that help you with the server matter? Or is it just, is it like one of those things, you're a leech. You just go off to someone and as soon as you don't really need them, you, lo you just lunge off. I wouldn't do that. I haven't done that. I haven't screwed his server up that big before. Now my server is small. So it doesn't take too long to fix, but it still was not necessary. And I stated all before this happened, I will wait. T-Shock T -shock team works their butt off. I'm not going to lie. They work their butt off to get this thing to work as it should. And when they do get it out, there's always going to be bugs. And we're not going to go ape crap on them. We know. They don't get the official source code from the logic. They just don't. And... That is something that sucks, because it would probably make their life a lot easier, too. So, I don't care about that stuff, okay? People can't use those items anyway. Well, that's, I, I think he's basically trying to argue that's his server. I can't even scroll down. Oh, wait, I'm already scrolled down. What the heck? I got scrolled down by this thing. <laughs> You're on my server. Yes, I am on his VPS, his virtual private server, oh, excuse me, virtual dedicated server. It's 10 cores, 10 RAM, whatever. And I started doing that about two years ago, but I've always donated, I must have donated at least 200, 250 bucks by now. And a server costs, back then it cost 100 bucks every month. And I've looked around, there's a lot cheaper places to do it. Terraria is just not designed to handle this many players. So having all these servers, you really don't need that power, horsepower, but for his purposes, he does. My server literally doesn't use that much resources, but for some reason it does because... The way Terraria.net and T-Shock work, it's crazy. So we'll go down to the point where I really gave the argument that his maturity on this matter was just unwarranted. He, he, he doesn't take anything seriously. And there's a fine line between taking something seriously and just not giving a crap about it. And I care about my... I've run this server for three years now. It literally ran a year off of my own server machine, which wasn't that powerful, and it had no good internet up speed. And then it had to be shut down, along with my other servers. Now, this was Left 4 Dead, this was Terraria, and Minecraft. Minecraft wasn't popular, Terraria was my most popular, and my second most popular was Left 4 Dead. Those were the servers that I ran on, those were the servers I focused on, and that's the servers I played on, and I got donations for everything. I rarely see any of my donators come back. And I always hope for them to come back. I, I'd like to see all my old people come back. I've seen somebody who came back who was the 400th registered user. So I'm pretty happy about that. If, if it was off, I'd say he probably couldn't care less. Oh, look, it's that new guy that was really old some day ago. Really? <laughs> come on. A little bit more happiness is cool with the server that you're running. So... He's trying to argument, we had to delete 600 houses and all kinds of chess data. Yeah, he uses infinite chess plugins. And the, the same housing plugin that I use that belongs to Simon, and there's an argument going about that, that it's not very uh, proficient, I guess is the best way to say it. It has a way of 
making the server lag really bad. Uh, it's a yay and nay situation. Kind of hard. And these arguments like stop making elephants out of mouses. If you're going to use metaphors, please take English class first. Just just take English class first. Just just do it. I mean, I'm I'm in America, he's in Netherlands and he's trying to make that argument. Wow, we hate the owner of Tyria Legend because he's so respectful towards our crappy streamers. Let's sue his website and server. That's not actually what happened. Um, I've gotten my fair share of information and proof of exactly what he did to Relogic. I can't disclose that. I don't want to disclose that. That is not my business. But they were happy enough to inform me about it because I am with Tyria Legends and they are aware that I have nothing to do with it. So they feel my shame. They understand my situation. And sometimes I do wish I had my own host. Which is why I'm putting this video out as well. If there's somebody interested who would work with me in something, making a deal or something, I would rather be on your host than any longer be on Tealworks. Because I think he, 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 let's just put it this way, he doesn't care. He just doesn't care. He could care less what happens. And that's probably the best way to put it. So I've been working with Tyria Legends and L60 so much now, and, well, I can't see anything else going on. Right, I switched this to monitor now, didn't I? And it's like, no, I don't want to do this. And I don't think I can capture this monitor anymore. I can, okay. So, L60 is still alive. It is all fixed up. I'm really sorry that what happened happened. I had an announcement that said I wasn't going to do a wipe, a house wipe, or even a world wipe at all until I think it was December, like just before New Year's, because I wanted to just start clean. So now we're semi-clean. And I've gotten some complaints. I've lost a couple of people. They were pretty pissed off, and I tried to explain to them. It's not my fault. It was not my intention. This happened from him that he decided to upgrade the server and the biggest news is I only needed him to say two words he, all he had to do was say two words I would have been fine with that and then at least understand why he's saying that I am sorry I'm sorry and he didn't do that he just went off in that direction so the logs there if you want to read it I I, I can't be bothered with that <laughs> As always, guys, like I always say in my videos, and it's always important that I say it because it's like my motto now, don't be a dick, hit escape and quit, and I will see you guys in the next video. I hope that my server will still be alive. I don't know. I care that it would be, but if I had to debate between being still on there or not, I probably want my server to be shut down and then have to go through this because the reputation is just going to rub off on me. But I will see you guys in the next video. I am so sorry about the server. Uh, L60 is back up. Um, there is a wipe coming up in December. Don't forget that. And hopefully we will see you sometime New Year's. I also should be making more videos later on. Until then.